We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this HP Envy Pro 6458. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing and show you how to do the initial setup of the printer. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get the box, or the printer out of the box rather. So I've already cut the tape on the top. So we'll go ahead and open the top of this up. And on top, once you open it, you'll find some setup instructions and some marketing material. We can set that off to the side here. And then once you lift up this top piece of cardboard, you'll find your power cable and both of your ink cartridges to start the printer. So again, we'll set those off to the side here. Now we can remove this little piece of cardboard. And now we need to remove the printer itself from the box. The easiest way to do that is to lay the printer box down on its side. And when you look inside, you'll actually see that the printer is inside of a bag, and on the bag there's two blue handles. You can go ahead and grab those blue handles and use them to just pull the printer straight out of the box. Now we can just set the box off to the side. And we'll remove the styrofoam packaging. Alright, now that the styrofoam's taken off, we can go ahead and remove the bag that's holding everything together. Slide that right off. There we go. So now that the printer's out of the bag, and you notice that there's blue packaging tape all over the printer, and that's just to keep everything in place during shipping. So now we can go ahead and start removing some of that packaging tape. You just want to make sure that every little piece comes off. Um, you don't want anything holding anything together. That way, when once you're ready to get the printer set up, it's all ready to go. You don't have to worry about going back and trying to find anything. It's all pretty much going to be on the outside of the printer here. I'm just going to take all these off. There we go. Now you notice there's two that you can kind of see, but they're underneath here, and you don't, you can't see the opposite end of it. You can see one end, but not the other. In order to access it, on the front sides, you know, there's two little handholds. You can lift. You'll notice now you can remove. There's actually three, sorry. This is a blue packaging tape. And you also notice this is where we're going to end up putting the ink once we have the printer plugged in and ready to go. So we'll lower that back down. And now we want to raise the top of the scanner here. And we're going to remove this piece of glass protecting styrofoam here. And. The last thing I always like to do before I even bother plugging the printer in is to open the paper tray and make sure that the paper tray has been set for whatever size paper type I'm going to be using. In this case I'm using a standard 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. And once I have it set to the right size I'll go ahead and add some paper into the printer. There we go. And now all we have left to do is go ahead and plug in the printer. And once we get that set up, then we'll be right back. All right, so now our printer's plugged in. You can, it's easy to tell. You can see the, the purple light shining in the paper opening there. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, all we have left is to go ahead and install our ink. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna go ahead and find those handles at the, the, si or the front sides of the printer again, and lift the cover up and once you do that, you'll see the print head actually move just a little bit so that it lines up with two little marks that are in the front side of the printer. And now we can open up our ink cartridges. Remember to always remove the little protectant seal. And then make sure that your color ink goes in the slot for the color and the black ink goes in the slot for the black. So they're color coded. One has a purple tab that's going to be for your color, one has a black tab that's going to be for your black. Again, make sure you remove your little protectant seal. And lift the tab. Install the ink. Once you have the ink installed, you can go and lower that cover. And now the printer is set up and ready to use. The only thing left is to either hook this printer up to your network or directly to your computer depending on how you want to have it set up for your own personal use. And once you do that, then you're good to go. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx and we'd love to help you out with those. 
Also, if there's any way we can help supply with any of your office supply needs or printer needs, please, again, feel free to give us a call. and love to help you out with those as well. Other than that, we hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.